Good day, viewers. Welcome back to the Crooked Mansion, the Blade. Dragon Fang here. So here's the only one left. Lock safe. safe. Lock safe. Oh, you put the fees. Oh, did it spell any word? Wait, let's check the word. Let's check it. This is M F A. I L Y hmm. hmm I get it I get it Let's see Get the safe key. Family. I'm not safe. safe. Revolver. Oh my god, a, revo a, a gun. Pistol ammo. Now we can fight that monster. Wow. Ouch. You save it. Monster, Mr. David, help. This, this monster is persistent. Fluffy, over there. No, I'm scared of monster. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let the monster come near you. Ah! Fluffy! Gotta go after Fluffy. Put an end to that guy already. Planning to. I had enough of him. I don't mind he go after me, but going after little kids? That's a bit too much. Fluffy! Uh oh. No, 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 stay away, Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near. Ah! Run away, Mr. David, help! Damn it, it's really after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen. Don't let it catch you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Nice. I might hit Fluffy instead. Careful, I shoot. It's not easy. Damn. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Fluffy. Oh. I can't even. I can't. Whoa! Get out of the way, kid. Nice. Oh, that was hard. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Push him off. He can survive after that. Phew. I don't know how many times I shoot it, but not even it could survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Why? Huh? Why what? It's so scary, but I keep hanging in there, and I just wanna want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she will never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not. It. That's not you, you're you. I'm going to miss a policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can go there myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. 
I can make it on my own. Even if mama isn't there. Even if mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wait! My head feels like it's gonna explode! Do you think that kid's mom got something to do with the crooked man? I believe so. Fluffy. He, he left on his own. No, Fluffy, your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have been doing here? Wandering these ruins? Looking for a man I don't know? I should, I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change. Well, I feel sad as well. Or maybe I feel frustrated. I'm going home myself. There's no point being here anyway. Now that I think about it, all that's happening to these other characters are similar to David's own life. What the? Sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Floppy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I bet she and Fluffy passed each other by. Her voice coming from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. Clinic side? What clinic side? I don't know what the clinic is. That's a nursing station. Okay! Here we go. Must have been on the basement though. Basement? There's another door that won't open. Oh, it's open. <laughs> Who's crying? Who? Who's that over there? Shadow? Hey, who are you? It's stop. Huh? Mom? Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? That's not... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandon me. No, you were sick, mom. So... You left me. My own family couldn't stand, stand me anymore. No, no, you're wrong. Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it, it did when then... Are you going to try to kill me again? Huh? Again? It hurts so much, Davy. Davy can I guess Davy can't handle anymore. True. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left us a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know any anyone like you. I'll call, I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't, don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just, just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up, keep your mouth shut. Do you think I know you? Get out of here. Stop! What are you saying? Did something ha- did, so did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me because it's not funny? 
please stop. Quiet, I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Enough. Get. Somebody. David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let go. You're trying to kill her. David! Paul arrived. It appears, it appears to, be to be a brain... Brain what? Tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Sudden change in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be site for brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be dis destroyed. If some some cases considering to resolve the friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. He had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We hospitalize her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully, it won't be so long. Please come by see her often, even if she doesn't seem to know you. She is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have have I would have never been forgiven for it. There really was hated in me. It is true. I abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious mother who cared for me after my father left. And yet I my wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family will all go away. I can't have anything but that, that crooked. What, I have been searching for? I don't have, I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way f from the beginning. Scene 3, Central Hospital, Fluffy, and Fluffy's done. Are all those characters similar to David? Yeah, they're all similar to David. Hmm? Oh, it's Paul. Damn it, David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and to and where? Paul, what do you, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Fire, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggest moving to Moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would be the room be... Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David? David, where are you? The Banner yeah, Hospital in Stalford. Why are you over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David! Hey, David! Yeah, he's in Salford. He's probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, 
I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. A day on a motorcycle? Do you have enough gas? David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark. So stay close behind me. Right. Hey, why me? You'll be fine. I think he's in the rooftop. What's that sound? Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? I guess you gotta go over there. Is he even up there? I don't know. I think you need to go there because of, there was a footstep up there. Try go to the last floor. All right then. Huh? Who's there? What are you doing here? Sissy? A girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who who are you? What's this about? Go see him. Huh? Man, what was that? I think you need to go back down. Yeah, I think you need to go back down. All right, I'll go back down then. There's nothing there anymore anyway. Someone, someone else? David? Hey, who are you? Huh? D? Yo! D what are you doing? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on ya. Uh, what? What are... There's so many people here. I don't get it. Well, go up. To the third floor. Third floor. Then... There was a crooked man and he wore a crooked mile. Fluffy? A kid? Don't tell me kids wandering here. He found a crooked six pen upon a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. Kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listen to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness on my, la my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he wouldn't fathom why. He was all sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... He... Mr. David is wanting, waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was... What's up with that kid? He... Why did he know David? Did he meet him? Forget it. Let's go, Marion. Now what? Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't time for that? Huh, Marion? What do you mean teasing you? Just who are you keep talking to? Huh? Are there ghosts? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. You can't see those guys. So that's it. Marion, go. And leave the hospital. Sorry for um trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happens to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. Please just trust me. Alright, please come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. Okay, your, your turn though. Yeah, I know. Do you tell me Mario can see those people? 
Woohoo, I can save this ball? Yeah. That's a good thing. David, what are you doing there? Open the door. Mario can see those people. Are all those... things for David only? I guess so. David. Paul. Paul, why? Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll, I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I have. I guess the crooked man is possessing him, huh? David, wh what? What? What's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Ow! Get, you <laughs> damn monster! Get away from David! Hey! Ow! Stop! Ow! Yeah! That hurt! Stop, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been insane from the start. Like... If that's the kind of thing you do, saying, I have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, now about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. So we'll skip that because it's gonna be a long one. Hmm, Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monsters? That's my occult fan fanatic? Well, you see, it's not exactly fanatism. Don't always tell tell you that I see things. You and my, you never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo, I think I met, met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe. But Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult stick. You're seriously making fun of me in the occult after this? Just listen, and no jokes. So you had pretty similar to, similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family troubles. When I first looked at that place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. I had to guess the guy's consciousness was the perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And then get taken advantage of the most. Taken? Taken advantage of? Look, I don't barely know the guy. You know a little from the stuff he left. And that was all the stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? Sissy. D. And the, and Fluffy.
he he hated you but the, he liked you he thought he could share his suffering with you so he was seeking your help my help that's and that's why you met those people that's what i'm thinking honestly i'm not sure if it's right it's not quite right he wasn't seeking my help he he helped me got me back on my feet again that's you and him being similar hmm. hmm what's up there's something on my pocket when did i pick this up an address i don't think it's that far I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like, I if, feel I... like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You, you come back to us safe. I don't want to go go to my friend's funeral yeah i know thanks scene four central hospital paul and last oh. i think next was the last scene yeah i'm using david again scene five Home sweet home. This is the last one, right? That's what I think. Hmm. This is the place, for sure. Could it be his house? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around here. Going for a stroll? Uh, no, exact. No, actually, um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Mr. McGann? McGann? Someone named McGann live here? Not anymore. Mr. McGann pa passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of fine house, is it? Oh yeah, I think he, he had a son. We did just do. Rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, I never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lived in an apartment like way ways away. I see. That's all. Gotta get home by daybreak, or my wife will be livid. Too good to take a walk in the morning, but it's sure cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Ah uh, yes, thank you, you too. It's Miss Pagan, not Mr. Okay guys, we'll go to the next part. Thanks for the video, we're going inside the house. I don't know what will happen. Yeah. But we'll find out next part. So that's all for now, if you enjoy, so shall we enjoy the next part of the video. Goodbye. See ya.